Hello and welcome. Today we'll talk about how to run the .bat file from Visual Basic script. Sometimes we need to run, for example, the calculator or notepad from WinCC runtime and we need to make this directly from uh, application. Today we will make the .bat file and after this we will run the calculator from our buttons inside our SCADA so we can allow our technical guy run the calculator directly from application. Let's go to buttons but before we make the Visual Basic script here we need to prepare one .bat file in Windows. We go to new text document Let's go to edit this and I prepared a exec how to run this and we put the start and we put the path file for the calculator C Windows System 32 calc.exe We save this save as and we can all files after this we need to make for example the calc.bat so we have the bat file after we run this we have the calculator but let's go back to WinCC runtime and we need to run this bat file from WinCC runtime we create the button for, for example like this and let's say run.bat file calc inside here we need to put the visual basic script let's use the press left in here we need to create one tag one internal tag let's say it will be the object this object should be this object should be the shell script from the windows and we need to create the create object script dot shell after this we can make some windows scripts directly from our application so we can put the object dot and we can put for example the exec and we have for example the run inside here we need to put the string our dot bat file so we have the c user msw desktop calc dot bat and we have our calc bat here and we have the parameter 1 we make the syntax check we put ok and now we can make the WinCC runtime after this we should have the calculator on our screen let's push this as you see our .bat file is running normally and we can put for example the programmer version it's normal we can close and we can put another and another so we have the two calculators we can make the same with notepad excel word anything you you need and we can use this kind of scripts inside our application to run external programs if you like this don't if you like this don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye